Hey family, come here today to talk about something I got a question about the other day. Is it better to have a job or to have a business? Or should you combine them both? Now that answer is going to be based on a couple different factors and you got pros and cons for each side of it. Um, it really first depends on what type of person you are. Are you the type to have the confidence in what you're doing or to jump out there on your own do what you got to do? Or do you prefer having the security of going to a job every day? Some people like either one. Me and myself, I did the whole corporate thing for like 10 years and then uh, kind of decided that that was not for me anymore. I wanted to spend more time with my family and kind of go from there, you know, but they both have benefits. And let's talk about the, the pros of, of having a job first. All right. The benefit of having a job is that, you know, every two weeks or every month, you're going to get a guaranteed paycheck. Whether that's based on salary or based on how many hours you're working overtime, you know that every two weeks, as long as you keep going to work every day, you're going to get this paycheck. You're also going to get your health insurance, life insurance, all the benefits that go along with that. So it gives you a level of security that as long as you provide this level of energy, you receive this level of compensation for that. And for so many people, that's great. They may have a couple kids at home and let's say they don't have a business set up, whatever, this is going to give them the best opportunity for themselves. And that's what most of us were taught. We're always taught to get good grades, go to college, get a great job, work the job for a bunch of years, get your retirement saved up, retire and be happy. Now, the downside of having a job is that you only make what they deem you are allowed to make. So someone else sets your value. Yes, you can go get all the degrees you want, but that corporate HR is going to determine how much that particular position pays and whether you're qualified to have that position or whether they want you to have it or not. So the corporation determines how much you're worth based on your time. So you're trading your time for money with them as well. Also, you are going to be required to submit to their policies. You got to dress a certain way when you come in. You got to come in most jobs. And now with Corona stuff happening, they're allowing people to work from home. But traditionally, you always have to be at the job. But my corporation was big on that. I had to fight tooth and nail to get um, to work from home one day a week. And that was kind of crazy. But I ended up finally getting that done. But in the end, you have to yield to their rules. You have to deal with having someone above you who tells you what to do, having a manager or something of that nature as well. So those are all the, the things that go along with having a job. The side about having your business is, is now the benefits are almost the exact opposites of what the job is. Now, the, the part about jobs people don't like is having to go to work every day at 7, 8 o'clock whenever you had to get there, leaving at 5, following the rules, everything else. When you have your own company, you set those rules. But the difference is that now you are fully accountable. It is up to you to get up and push yourself to do what you need to do to make your own money on your side. Now, the benefit of it is, is that if you, you develop a successful business, your money is unlimited. You can make as much as you want to make based on how big your business grows. So that's the benefit of having your own company. You set your own hours. You can do exactly what you want to do. Whatever it is, if you want to be a gardener, if you want to make flower baskets, if you want to design cars, you want to flip cars, flip houses, whatever you want to do, you can make your business based on that and do whatever your calling is. This is the now this part about it is the paycheck is really dependent on how well you do. Some days you may work for a month and not get paid. And that's the thing about having a small business. You have to be able to ride those waves. When you make a crazy month or make a whole bunch of money, don't blow it all because next month could be down. You can make three sales in one month and the next month not make any. So you just never know. But the goal is, for me personally, I enjoy having my own business. I left corporate, uh, it'd be, it was a year in April, so almost a year and a half coming up here uh, a little bit later this summer. And I loved it. I mean, I wish I would have did it sooner, but the timing was perfect. But for me personally, I knew that I could trade. I knew I knew how to flip properties. I knew about other businesses and things to set up as well. And I just felt like at 42 years old, I was not going to be at somebody else's job having someone tell me when I got to be there. Um, meetings to show up to that weren't worth my time. Things of that nature. So, you know, you have to look at both sides of it and what is for you. You know, and have confidence and say, if you are going to jump out there and do a business, go ahead and go for it. If you don't want to do that, it is nothing wrong with having a job. It is nothing wrong with having a job. Now, I still recommend it, even though you do have a job, you invest your savings into something that earns money for you on the side. 
because we've all learned with this COVID-19 stuff that a job can disappear like nothing. So make sure that you are covering all your angles. And just because you don't have your own business on the side doesn't mean you can't be investing in properties, investing on a real estate investment trust or crowdfunding type thing, things of that nature as well. So a lot of different angles to look at, but want to kind of go over you guys the benefits of both sides of it, the cons of both sides of it. You know, and just kind of squash the dilemma because so many people are shaming folks for having a job. No, let people do what they got to do. If they want to go to work every day, let them go to work every day. Because when you have your own business, you can go to work every day too. You're just going to work for yourself. So, you know, it's no, it's no shame in the game. Just make sure that whatever you're doing, you're happy doing it. And do it for the right reason. Use all your gifts and your fullest abilities and go get it. But this is Living With Finance. If you guys enjoyed this message, please follow me on Instagram or Twitter at the same name. Let me know how you guys feel about working or you doing a hybrid. Did you leave your job? When did you leave it? How did it feel? It felt great for me. Like, it felt freaking awesome when I left. But um, let me know how you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Take care.